everyone. This is for a Kyocera device that is getting a scan to email error. It also shows how to set up scan to email utilizing a Gmail account. Now, um, you do need to turn on two-step verification on your Gmail account and create an app password in order to perform this fix. So use your own Gmail account um, and turn on two-step and I can I'll actually show you how to do that as we go along with the video all right so it is a Kyocera send error and you're getting on the screen itself of the of the device and the error is 1102 and if you're doing also a test from the web interface on the copier you also see connection error 0x 1102 so from the web browser Type in your IP address into the address bar and it'll pull up the web interface. Username is admin, capital A. Same for the password, capital A admin. Go down to network settings and in TCP IP, we're going to make sure that the primary DNS is 8.8.8.8 .8 and 8.8.4.4 .4 for the secondary. Click on submit on the bottom and click OK. Go down to network settings again and click on protocol here and we're going to go to send tx settings under send and make sure that that bubble is on for smtp turn it on go to start ttls and we're going to scroll to the bottom and click on submit to apply that settings Go back into protocol SMTP and we're gonna make sure we're gonna click on that link email settings, that little blue hyperlink. It'll take us to the SMTP server name, which is smtp.gmail.com, port 587. You can leave it at 10 seconds. We're gonna turn on this and also select other. And for the email address, use your own Gmail address. Don't use this one. This is a generic one. Use your own Gmail address, a valid one. And in this password, we're gonna we're gonna have to type in the app password that is created in Google account. So go to your Gmail settings under Google account, and you're gonna turn on two-step verification and security. Screw down to two-step verification. You're going to go ahead and get started with this two-step verification process. It's going to ask you for your own cell number or phone number so it can text you the code. Go ahead and get the code texted to you and click on app um, two-step verification again. Enter your main password for your Google account. Click on next. And then you go scroll down to the bottom to app password. And you're going to have, this is the app password that you're creating for the copier. So I'm going to name mine copier. It doesn't matter what you put in there. Now this 16 digit character, you need to write this down and manually put this in. Because if you type, if you copy it from here and paste it in, it'll paste the spaces as well. And it won't work. You need to manually type in that 16 character it should be all lowercase letters and type it into the the password field for smtp authentication i just copied the um, sender email address down on the bottom as well because it's required when you're setting scan to email on this device click on submit and we're going to test this by hitting test and it says okay so that's how you set up or fix that send error 1102 on the kyocera devices thanks for watching guys